He throws it away. All right, Chris, let's take a look at the Gamecom instant replay. Here's Swoops bringing the ball down court, looking over on the left side, frees it right here. Now it looks like Flea is going to go right to the court, but it's a little more complicated than that. Check him out here. He goes behind the back, he chases around, Peyton makes the reach, and suddenly, oh, maybe it's a walk, but I don't think so. It's two points for Flea. That was sheer excitement from the Australian basis. We need some tents. We need some tents right, right now, okay? Let's go. Bust some tents right here. Hey, you, make a shot, okay? One time, let's go. You, do something. Do something, big guy, please. And Bill Walton loves it as Flea comes through with a huge play. 3.05 remaining in the fourth quarter. Flea spot up. It's an 11 point lead for the Violators. That'll be for 10. Spencer, yes! Spence, <laughs> come oh, on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about feeling the vibe, and suddenly this is a one point game. The Violators lead at 184 183. Another dramatic conclusion. Oh, and there's Peyton. Peyton with 101 points, and that's a new all time world record. He's done it. You knew he had it in him, and he did it. That is just beyond belief. Here's Montberry. Shoot 10. Shoot a 10. Kevin Garnett. Can't make it happen. Back tap nicely. Fantastic tap from Bergen, I think that was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Spencer lost his footing, Chris. Higgle, Higgle, Higgle. Well, it's a tough court out there sometimes. Let's go, doggy. Here's Bill Bellamy. He has room. He got faced underneath. Bellamy couldn't make the bucket. It's still a three-point game. Well, here's Superman, Dean Kane. No. Here comes Stephon Marbury. We're going to die. We're going to die. He's got Spencer in the corner. Spencer gets it. He called for it. He's going for 10, Chris. Spencer. With Tim's all over him, can't make the shot. They keep it alive, though. Here's Marbury. Watch that corner. Watch that corner. Shot. You see Garnett so smart passing up the easy two to get it out to Marbury. Rick. And the push by Michelle Tim. It's about time, Holland. Well, with the score, the Violators 186, the Bricklayers 183. We'll be back with the most exciting two-minute drill in sports right after this fast break. Well, the 25 and 50 point baskets are down. The Violators by three as Rocket Jock 7 winds down to its dramatic conclusion. And this is truly anybody's game, but if it's anybody's, it's probably Gary Payton. Hey. Oh, look at that! Oh, my goodness, can that be done? Only in Rocket Jock. Bill Walt keeps it going. Come on, 25, 25, flee one time. Here's flee from 10. He thinks about it. Oh, that's a smart play. Dean Kane for 25. Got it! What a shot! Flea makes it happen on both ends of the court. And Kane goes for 25. Take a look at this replay. Check it out. Flea passes it over to Kane. There it goes. Freeze it right there. It's in. You knew it. Bill Bellamy gets it into Gary Payton, the glove. For 25. Way off. Gary Payton to keep it alive. Here's Brent Game Barry. Point. Bellamy! Payton totally doing it all for this team right now. Oh, great hustle there. Gary Payton for 25! And Gary Payton has done it again! Responds for 25. This is still a tight game. Gary Payton, Chris, has 126 points. Marbury going for 50. It's total bedlam out here, no question about that. Oh, yeah, that's us. That's us. No, no, no. Blue ball. It's 211 to 208 for the Bricklayers. Kevin Garnett. Yeah, make it happen. Here's Brent Barry. Gary, Gary, 25. We may get 300 at this pace. We got just about a minute left. Bergen for 50. Nobody gets 25. Michael Bergen from Baywatch with a 25-pointer. Only a minute left. Walt cannot believe it. Look at Walt. He can't believe that. This is an incredible finish. It is wild. It is total bedlam out here. They can't even keep up at the scoreboard. No, no, the clock seems to have stopped. All time seems to have stopped. Yes. Gary Payton again for 25. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Of course he got it. Payton doesn't know how to miss. I told you. It's Payton's place, 151 points. And the Violators lead it 261 to 208. 50 points. 50. Marbury's got to go for 50, and he does. Oh, it's close. It's close. Oh, but Garnett gets the rebound. Tries for a mere 25. Oh, but he got two. Garnett has to settle for ah. two, and that's going to hurt right now. They got a foul, I think, Steve. Our first 200-point game in Rock and Jock history. Now here's Methamon. Okay, man. Sweet <laughs> shot. Okay, baby. Okay. And here's a whistle. It is now 263 to 210, the Violators. Why don't we see what Bill Walton is going to be telling his team? Okay, we got to get the 50 right okay. here, okay? So, 
Get on the boards, big guy. Flee, you're hot. If you get in close, get it up there. But you got to get it way up there. We can't have 25. As soon as we score the 50, that's a given. We're going to get that. Then we got to foul right away so we can get the ball back because they're going to stall. Okay? And we got to get the rebound. Now, look. One time, this is the biggest moment in our lives, guys. We'll never, ever live this down if we lose to Shaquille O'Neal as a coach. Okay? We're not going to lose. Now, let's go. 22 seconds for a win. I got to catch it. We can't let him get to 25. No, we can't. Bill, you're, okay, you're tormented about to end. I'm tormented. You're tormented. Come on. I got to do this. I got to do this. Let's do it right here. Right here. The violators. Right here. Violators. Right here. Violators. Oh, Yellow. Three. All the way. One, two, three. Violators! Walton called this the most important moment in his life. This doesn't look like the most important moment in Shaquille's hour. All right, here we go. Come on, Kane. Marbury for 50. No, oh. Violators on the threshold of their second Rock and Jock title. Look at that rebound for oh. Kane, though. Oh. Good hands by uh, Bergen. Still 11 seconds left. Still a chance for the Bricklayers. Oh, the magical final seconds. Garnett for 50. No, can't make it happen. And here's Page, who's been all over the place this game. Go, Flea. Flea intercepts, there's still time. Down to five seconds. Marbury for 50. Oh. Oh, stop. One second. That's it. That's it. The Violators have won. It's all over. Bill Bentley has to be beside himself. Thank God. Thank God. He's lost. I am the greatest. I told you. I am the greatest. I am the greatest. But the true hero, you'd have to say, is Gary Payton and his constantly shifting alliances. He determined the course of this game as much as anybody, and that made a huge difference. Back and forth, still give him a time. Yes, the improbable has happened. The Violators with a stunning victory, able to bounce back and fend off a repeat three-feet by the Bricklayers. Playing out here, you folks told y'all gonna win, and I've done it. So the final score, the Violators 263, the Bricklayers 210. Let's go to Carmen Electra on the winning side with our Visa Co-MVPs. I'm here with the Visa Co-MVPs of the winning team, Bill Bellamy and Gary Payton. So how does it feel to win? Oh, it feels great. Me and Bill are only one, one. And now, hey, now it's two. Hey. Oh, that is. The best thing about Rock and Jock is when the sky darkens. Yeah. The lights get dim. It's a bunch of guys. And they let the 25 and the 50 point basket in. You've been trying to win for a long time. Yeah. Finally, you said, what was the secret? Uh, I think we just played together. You know, we had more fun than we ever did this year. And uh, we just got, got played crazy defense in uh, what was the third quarter. We played crazy defense, shut them down. They got nervous. All the girls started screaming. It was cool. My favorite yeah. thing about the game is that right. Method Man was friendly to me. Yes, if you win, you get to party with Carmen Electra. If you lose, well, I unbutton my shirt just as much, but it's not quite as exciting. Here with the co-MVPs of the losing team, the Bricklayers. Well, let's start with you, Dean Kane. You played a pretty good game, but you just came up a little short. Uh, this was me. I was on a team called the Bricklayers, and uh, I was appropriately a great member of that team because that's all I did was lay bricks. In an act of almost Pirandellian complexity, Gary Payton, you are also a co-MVP of the losing team, the Bricklayers. Now, what happens to your Viacom deal as a result of your leaving the Bricklayers? Well, you know, it, it's both teams. It's both on ways. I get to win, I get to lose, I get to stay with my buddy, and then, you know, it's just something that happens. I mean, we still feel good about it, don't we? But, hey, did a good job, babe. Best thing I like about the Rocky job. Go, is uh, go. the players, the people, the audience, and that is over. A wild and crazy scene here on the campus of UCLA. I haven't seen anything like this since Chris Connolly's honeymoon. The Violators able to fend off a repeat, repeat by the Bricklayers. So many great memories from Rock and Jock 7, the highest scoring game in Rock and Jock history. The second 50-pointer, it was scored by Gary Payton. What are some of your great memories? Payton was simply unbelievable. Kevin Garnett dominated his side from the get-go. Fantastic coaching from Shaquille O'Neal and Bill Walton. And how about that Michael Bergen of Baywatch? He did a job in there. Oh, he sure did. That was my favorite part of the show. All the good-looking guys over here tonight. Method Man and Superman. Oh, I think I'm going to faint. And it was all for a great cause. The Reading is Fundamental organization. We really hope you enjoyed it. For Chris Connolly, for Carmen Electra, all our friends here, our entire crew, this is Steve Albert saying, so long from UCLA. Have a nice